morning. How are you? All okay? Right, let's see what day it is today. Okay, so we've got seven days. We've had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So today must be Thursday. Remember, stick your tongue out when you say that one. Thursday. That's right. So it's Thursday today. Um, the weather's not brilliant, is it? It's quite cloudy. Looks like it might rain. I'd say cloudy and warm today. It's still quite warm. Now, I've got some signs to practice today in the weather song. So you can see what I'm doing. You can help me as well. So we're going to say, What is the weather today? What is the weather today? It's cloudy and warm. It's cloudy and warm. That is the weather today. Uh -huh. I'm learning my signs, you've got to help me. I'm glad if you were doing that as well. Okay, letter. <laughs> letter A in the alphabet. First letter in the alphabet. A, B, C, A is the first one. Sounds A or A. Let's just have a quick look at the big book that I read to you yesterday. Do you remember? Close it like this. Don't why bother. Just leave it open. Okay, so remember the family went for a picnic in the countryside, lots of sugary foods. Along came some uh, uh, ants. Ants starts with ah, uh, crawling all over the food and the people, crawling up the little girl's arm. So now this is the um, special action that you do for this letter. You need your arm, like the little girl, and you're going to run the ants up her arm and go ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and it'll help you to remember it. So if you forget one day what that letter says, if I just go, you'll remember, you'll go, ah. So that's to help you. Ah, ah, ah. Um, there's a little song as well, but I'll teach you that in a minute. So yesterday you were writing letter A in something wonderful. So rice or flour or something different. So you could do it nice and big. Okay. So today it's pencil and paper time. I'll show you in a second. Let's just go over it one more time with our magic pencil. Give it a sharpen. I've got my pencil today. Okay, starts at the top. That's right. And we're going to go round back to where you started. Keep your pen on though. And back down and a flick. Did you remember not to take your pencil off? No circles. Here we go. Around. Back to the top. Stay on. Back down. And a flick. So today, shall I do the little song first before I put it away? Hang on, I'll put it down first. Now the song, I haven't got the music obviously, but the song goes ah, ah, ants on my arm, ah, ah, ants on my arm, ah, ah, ants on my arm, they're causing me alarm. Ah. Alarm means they're making you scared. Causing me alarm means making you frightened. Ah, at the end. I'm a bit squeaky today. Ah, that's better. Um, so today, mums, dads, grown-ups, remember, same format as last week. So we've got four written carefully the right way in a light colour. Black dot, little line to show which way to start. Make sure they're going all the way round, back down, little flick. Same thing with dots, make sure they're doing it properly all the way. It's, it's a matter of sort of getting the feeling right in their arms. It's like a little arm dance, really. The more they do it, the more their arm gets a sort of muscle memory for it. Just the start points, that's where it gets tricky. Remind them they can look at these ones to check. And then room to do it all by themselves. If you need some special practice, there's room at the bottom. Okay, so do that now when you finish watching this. Because um, the more you think about the letter, the more it will help you to do the letter shape. Remember to sit up straight at a desk. Good holding your pencil with your little bird. And... Other hand, hold your paper still. If your paper's moving around, you can't do nice writing, okay? So that's what you need to do for that. So that's your first job. Okay, first job. Yeah. Now, um, second job. Um, I need my number strip, Sam. Got your number strip. What's going on now? The Ockham Lower. Getting good. Okay, yesterday we counted our first colour numbers okay mine were orange so we counted those today we're going to do your second num um color choice numbers okay so mine are blue 
So we're going to only count the numbers that have been coloured in in your second colour, so in my blue colour. Okay, so we'll go up to 10 first. Get a little fold. Let me see if I fold it like that, Sam. Okay. So, I'm not going to do zero because it's not in our first colour. Here we go. One, three, five, seven, nine. Can't do ten because that's that's in your first colour. Okay, let's do that a little bit faster. Here we go. One, three, five, seven, nine. Let's make it harder. Let's go all the way up to twenty. Only the ones that've got your second colour. Try not to block it with my hand now. Or bend it. My laminator. Right, here we go. Just your second choice, my blue. Here we go. One, three. Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, and that's the last one on this strip in your second choice colour. So we made another number pattern. It's right. It's hard, isn't it, not to say the numbers in the normal order, but we're missing some numbers out because they're not in our pattern. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. That was fast. So practice doing that. You could practice your first colour, my oranges. You could do that as well. Okay, it's good to learn to count in different ways. Tomorrow I'll show you one more. Okay, right, put that back again. No pepper today, a bit of peace and quiet. She might be in a minute, but I think we'll shut her out today. Um, okay, giant pictures. <gasps> I've had some scary ones. Let's just have a quick look. But a few of the ones we've had, really scary and so amazing and absolutely huge. And people using all sorts of things from around their house, in every room I think, to make their huge, huge giants. And I was very, very scared, I have to tell you so. But we want some more. So if you haven't done one yet, come on now, make me a giant, see if you can make me frightened. Okay, now, one more job to tell you about. And this is a giant job as well. It's called Giant Strides. So now I'm going to show you a little photo now of me doing a big giant stride. So I'm going to do walk along with my big long legs doing a big giant, as long as far as I can step. And then when I've got a really big one, I'm going to keep still. You'll see this in the photo, okay? I'm going to keep still. And I'm going to get somebody to measure how long my stride is using a bit of string. So cut a piece of string or tape or something like that. A bit of ribbon if you've got it. Um, measure how long your stride is and cut a piece of tape to that same length, okay? And then when you've done that... Get somebody else to do it, so your brother or your sister, um, if they can walk. You can't really do it if they're a baby, can you? Might be too hard. Um, mums, dads, nannies, bumps, somebody else. So you've got a few, okay? You could do it with your favourite Teddy if you like, see how big a stride they can do. So measure each one, make a piece of string the same length as that person's stride. And then when you've done a few, Put them together, line them up, make sure they start in the right in the same place, otherwise it won't be fair. So line them up and see who's got the biggest stride, who's got the smallest stride. See if you can put them in order, going from the smallest up to the biggest. Have a go. See, it's a measuring job. So I'm looking for you, really, we need to be using words like long, short, longest, longer shorter shortest all those words we've practiced before let's use them in this giant stride job shall we okay see how far you can strip don't hurt your legs don't want to hear anybody's hurt themselves i'm sure you won't okay right so that's your jobs for thursday uh we'll be back tomorrow with some more before the weekend 
um if the weather gets a bit brighter i hope you have a nice day playing outside as much as you can because that's good for you okay and i hope to see lots of you back tomorrow okay can you give me a big wave okay bye